Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 15.1, Problem 14. This is Section 15.1, Problem Number 14. We want to find the integral of 5 over x squared. Now this is very similar to number 13, the previous problem, which was the integral of 5 over x instead of 5 over x squared. So if you watch number 13, um, we wound up with a case that didn't fit our formulas and we had to use that ln, that natural log. This one we don't. It starts off similar. I can't take the integral when I have a variable in the denominator. My formulas just don't fit that format. So I start by writing the x with the 5 and making it a negative 2 power. And now I use the same formula that I always use. So this 5 is the top of the fraction in the answer. And then in the bottom of the fraction is the exponent, which is minus 2 plus 1 more. And then x to the previous exponent, minus 2 plus 1 more. And then there could have been some type of constant with that. And now as I simplify that, see number 13, I ran into a problem. I had negative 1 plus 1 in problem 13, which put a 0 in the denominator, which is catastrophically bad in math. Here in number 14, negative 2 plus 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 in the denominator is fine. You can have that anytime. And then x to the minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, plus you have some type of constant. That is the answer. We can clean it up a little bit though. 5 over minus 1, we could certainly call minus 5. x to the negative 1 plus a constant. And you, that's fine the way it is, or if you prefer, you can make that minus 5 over x to the positive 1 plus a constant. It's the same thing.